What's up everyone, this is Ali Talkers Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you 10 incredible iPhone home button tricks. Let's get started. So the home button is one of the most used features of the iPhone, so why not take advantage of it? So today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of really cool tricks you probably didn't even know existed about the iPhone home button. So this video is only going to be focused on the home button, so you can get the most out of this feature on your iPhone. Let's get started. So the first feature is go into Siri and go ahead and turn it off. Now from here you want to go to general, go ahead and tap on accessibilities, and then from here you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see accessibility shortcuts and turn off everything. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So, so far do everything I just mentioned, and then from here go to home button, go ahead and set it to default, and then go ahead and turn off Siri. So from here you can go to your home screen, and then I'm going to get an iPhone 6s that has all these features turned on. So look at the difference in speed when I tap on the home button. So everything I just showed you will actually speed up your iPhone home button. So an iPhone 5s is actually being quicker than the iPhone 6s. So this can make an old iPhone feel new again. So I really like this feature just because it can speed up an old iPhone and bring it new life. This next trick is probably one of my favorite. So did you know that if you go to accessibility shortcuts, you can actually choose a bunch of really cool features. So you can go ahead and turn on invert colors triple click the home button but something a lot of people don't know is people think you can only have one feature for the home button but what people don't know is that you can have more than one feature so you can go ahead and select as many of these as you want so i'm going to select all of them because why not right and then triple click the home button and you get this cool option so i see a lot of people are shocked whenever i get this screen on my phone so that's why i'm mentioning it in this video i know a lot of people in the apple community are aware of this but just for those of you who don't know that's what it is so next go to settings general assistive touch and this is really cool so assistive touch is something that is used for if you have any broken buttons on your phone so on my iphone 5s i'm going to show you what assistive touch usually does so when you tap on it once it comes up with a screen like this and you can choose what it does and it's pretty much useless but I'm going to show you how you can tap on it once and it'll have a specific assigned task. So when you tap on it once, you can go ahead and choose if it does multitasking or if it takes a screenshot or anything like that. I have it set so that way if I double tap it, the screen turns off. And I pretty much mentioned this in my last video, but I'm just going to go more in depth right now. And then from here, if you tap on 3D touch, you can go ahead and choose a specific task, which is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the lock rotation. The reason I'm doing lock rotation when I do 3D touch on this is because it's kind of hard to find in my control center. So I might as well just have it right there because it's, you know, why not? It's right there. And there are so many other options to choose from. There's also, you can go ahead and tap on restart. And then from here, if you do the 3D touch on the assistive touch little icon, you can restart your device without pressing any buttons, which I think is really cool. You could do this anywhere on the iPhone. And then you can choose how much this little icon is visible on your screen. So I like having it set at zero. And then I like to go to my home screen and keep it by the volume button. So you can see it's by the volume button right now. So you can probably barely even see it so it's not like an eyesore on your screen but you see once i tap it it does the feature i want so this is really cool this is just a neat trick to get more functionality out of your iphones now this next one i'm going to show you how to lock photos so what you want to do is go ahead and copy a photo in the photo library and then delete it now what you want to do is go to any notes on your iphone go to and paste that photo in your notes and then you can actually use touch id to lock that note so tap on the share button and tap on lock note and from here use your fingerprint scanner basically the home button and then you can actually lock the note and then from here you go ahead and actually lock it by tapping on the lock and now no one can view this note unless they have your finger or you could just type in your password. Now what I recommend you do is you delete the photo from your photo library and also delete it from the recently deleted section so it's nowhere to be found and the photo will still be able to be opened inside of the notes even if it's deleted off of the photos app which is I think is really cool. So maybe you have like a picture of a password or something and you wanna delete it off your phone so others can't see it. That's really what the main purpose is. So on iOS, apps can be really strange at times. They'll just stop working or responding. So if you want to speed up a specific app without restarting your entire phone, if it's being buggy, go ahead and hold down the power button 
and then get this screen and then hold down just the home button alone you can see i'm doing it right now and the app will actually refresh so rather than restarting your whole entire iphone just restart the specific app and this will actually speed up your iphone or at least this app significantly and it'll make it able to run better on your phone which is really cool it basically clears the ram so now i've noticed that on ios 10 and 11 you have to click the home button twice to unlock your phone now i absolutely hate this i wish i could just go back to ios 9 and click the home button once and have it unlock because i always use my home button to unlock my phone why have to do it twice you know that's just annoying so i'm going to show you how to fix that so i used to rest my finger on the home button and then click it and then unlock immediately so what you want to do is go to settings general accessibilities go ahead and tap on rest finger to open and then boom this is under the home button section in accessibilities by the way so you can see that all you have to do is click it once and it unlocks now it's a little slow because i am on the beta of ios 11 and because the beta is like an unfinished version of ios it's going to be really buggy so if you do have the official version of ios this will probably be fine for you so yeah this is just a neat trick with the home button that you probably didn't know about that'll speed up your iphone and also the more and more you click the home button you're going to wear out that button over time so you might as well just save that extra click every time you unlock your phone and you might get an extra few months out of the button so this next feature is pretty cool so my friends like to use my phone a lot and i'll let them use a specific app but sometimes when i'm when they're done using that app they'll start going through other apps which is something i don't like so if you go to guided access you can go ahead and set a passcode and then go ahead and do that i'm just going to make it one 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 it's easy to remember and then from here what you want to do is go ahead and make sure the accessibility shortcuts turned on so if someone asks to use your phone for whatever reason you go ahead and triple click the home button and turn this on and they can't do anything unless you give them permission so for example if they want to exit this mode they can't go to any other app unless they type in your password and you can block off certain areas of the screen that you do or don't want them to touch so for example i have the bottom blocked off because then you're able to see my contacts and then from there you can see other information on my phone which is none of their business so you might as well just block it off and then if you really want to prank your friends you could do this as well and you can even block just the call button if you just want to prank them. So a lot of my friends, whenever their phone's being strange or whatever, they try to shut it down and they think that'll solve the problem, which it will. It's just kind of dumb because there's a better way to do this. So what you want to do is rather than holding down the power button and then shutting it down from there, what you can do is hold down the power button and the home button and then just keep holding it until you see the apple logo surprisingly a lot of people actually don't know about this now this will actually reboot your phone rather than having to turn it back on from start again it's just more simpler now do not ever plug this into a computer and do this because you'll actually go into dfu mode or recovery mode and if you don't know what you're doing you can screw up your device so anyways that's about it for today thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video and as always peace